Hello everybody, here with a new story today. I'm Spidog, is that though? The Robin is his name. So it's a very short story. This is designed for um, junior infants kids, I think. So not even, well actually it's, not, it's first class, so about five or six years old. So this is kind of one of the first books they might be learning. So we'll go through it all in Irish and then we'll go back through it for meaning. So on Spidog. Is jas and tain e and spidog. So we here we have dun jarig bon. So dot dun dot jarig da bon a vien urhi. Bien nyad against spido se crown. Bien she a conaga bin. In and spidog pastena. In she turhi. In she shielta. Ihin si fehdi. Bien ukris agus tart erin spidog se givra. Karandini amak biet di. Or di. Karandini amak ishke di. Is mahlin an spidog. So, scale an agar. It's a very short story, so let's go back up to the cludach, the cover. So, an spidog, the robin. This is a bit of a complicated sentence. So it's jazz and tiny and spido. The this is using the cupola, which is a bit of a more difficult is a bit of a more difficult construction in Irish. Is so the robin is a nice bird. Is jazz so equals nice on tain e. Is nice the bird her the robin literally. So it being feminine. So it's nice the bird her the robin. The robin she's a nice bird essentially. So here we have the colors, dun, jarig, is bond, so brown, red, so this is pronounced jarig because the D is touching a slender vowel. So this is dun, but this is jarig, and here we have bon. So dot dun, so color of brown, color of red, I guess color of white, a V and erhi, that does be on her. So when we're talking about colors in Irish, we generally tend to say that they are on something. Um, so the color brown does be habitually on something. Being nyad against spido so crown. So and so nyad, uh, they have a nest in the tree. Let me try and break this down a bit clear. If we get rid of being for a second and we just think of it as ta, so ta nyad, a nest is egon spido. So a nest is at the robin. The robins have a nest, so crown, in the crown. But if we had ta here, it would be at this moment in time. Whereas we're talking about an action that's habitual, it happens again and again and again. So in this case, we use bien, which is just really, uh, I mean, in, our, in Hiberno English, you translate this to the do be. So they do be having a nest in the in the tree. This word bien here is really just a combination of the verb to be, which is the root form of ta, so it's the same meaning, and then on, which is essentially kind of translates to do, so do be. And we'll kind of come across this O and N or variation of it later on in the story. So we have B in here as well, a V in. So B in she iconic a bin. So again, so she does be singing melodiously or sweetly. So bin is kind of melody, go bin, melodiously. Ekana, so singing, at sing, melodiously. And again, here we have B and she because it's a habitual action. You could say ta she a conic bin, but that would be again about this minute in time and not habitually. In she and spidog, in and spidog pehistna. So the robin eats worms. So if we look back here, remember before we were talking about be, which is the verb to be, and then this un. This is actually a variation. The more common suffix here of onn is actually ann, or in this case eann. So it means the same thing. Do eat. So the robin does eat worms. So again, it's a habitual action. If you think about English, we tend to have dropped the do in positive sentences. You'll still say it in negative sentence. The robin does not eat. Or in a question, does the robin eat? But in a positive sentence, we somewhere have dropped it. We don't say the robin does eat so much anymore. We say the robin eats. But in Irish, it would still be the robin does eat. Ihen spido peishna. Ihen si turhi. Turhi, fruits. Ihen she shielta, seeds. She she does eat seeds. Ihen she fehdi, so insects or bugs. Bien ukris agus tart erin spidog, 
sahivra. So it looks like a very difficult word there, sahivra, but it's quite simple pronunciation. Just give ra, but here it has the H, so it's kind of khivra. So what does this mean? She does be hungry and thirsty in the winter. But an Irish hunger and other kind of feelings like this are always generally described as being on somebody. So we have to say hunger and uh, hunger and thirst does be on the robin in the winter. So be an ochrus like a tart air and spidok sigivla. So again, now we need to have this be in here as opposed to ta because we're talking about habitually. Like sagivra is not now, it's in winters. Karandini amak bietti. So people put out food for her. So again, now we have this verb kur and we have this suffix do. So do put. So And here we have people. People do put out food and then this is d for her. Dum for me, ditch for you, d or d it's often pronounced for her. I would generally put this amak at the end. So karandini bi amak d. Or sorry, I, I would put it between the b and the d. But it's fine here as well. And a very similar similar sentence here. Currandini, so people do put, or people put, a mach ishke de, so uh, water for her. Is machlin an spido, we like the robin. Or more literally, is here is essentially an equal sign. So equals or is good with us, the robin. The robin is good with us, we like the robin. It's kind of how you say we like something in Irish. Okay, scale on a bjogenshin. So a very short story there. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thank you.